Now we welcome in the head coach of the Virginia Tech Hokies, Justin Fuente. Coach, thank you so much for taking the time to chat with us today. Yeah, no problem. Thanks for having me on. So we just had the NFL draft over the weekend, and you had two players go in the first round. I'm sure you've heard the stat many times by now. Tremaine and Terrell Edmonds became the first brothers ever selected in the first round in the same draft. So how cool was that for you to witness that moment? Well, it was really special to be a part of it. I'm, I'm thankful for the Edmonds family for inviting uh, myself and Coach Foster uh, to attend it. I mean, it was... Uh, a once-in-a-lifetime experience, and to have both of the brothers go in the first round um, made me made me feel pretty grateful to be there, and you know made me realize that it, you know it, it couldn't happen to a better group of people. I mean, I just can't say enough about Tremaine and Terrell and their parents and the job they did raising those boys and and the type of players and people they were while they were here at Virginia Tech. So now let's move on to your team for this year. Josh Jackson had an outstanding first year as a freshman, but do you need more from him in 2018, especially after losing Cam Phillips? Well, we need more around him. I know that. We've got to continue to mature and develop around him. Um, sure, there's things that Josh needs to improve on, um, and I think he will do that. Um, I think the biggest stride we can take forward is – our guys around him. I mean, we've just got to get older and more mature uh, with our skill players to help to help Josh uh, play at a little bit higher level. Now you've lost a lot of guys in the secondary, but there's still a good group that has experience. So who do you say has stepped up as a leader of that group with Greg Stroman and Terrell Edmonds gone now? Well, I'd say we're still trying to hash all that out. Um, we've got some good young players that. Got quite a few reps. We've got some older guys that have been a little uneven at times that we need them to be more consistent for us to be able to play at the level that, that we've come accustomed to here at Virginia Tech, particularly in the secondary. So uh, I'd say it's, it's still a work in progress for us. Big change for Devin Hunter moving from safety to linebacker. How has he handled that change this spring? Well, he's, he's done a really good job. I mean, it's you know, we use the term linebacker loosely. I mean, we essentially play with five defensive backs, as most people do nowadays. So uh, he is at the linebacker level, but, uh, you know, he's essentially a DB out there in the alley. And I think, uh, you know, his athleticism and size are, are pretty special. Um, now getting comfortable playing that position, I think he, he jumped into it with both feet and, and made huge strides through 15 practices. A lot of youth for you in that front seven. Is there a player that we don't know about yet, but you think they've taken a big step this spring and we're going to hear their name a lot in the fall? Well, I'm not sure. We had a whole group of them uh, come forward and get better throughout the spring. We need them to continue through the summer. I think this may be the most important summer that uh, I've ever had as a head coach in terms of our, our player development. We're so young in so many places. Um, Rayshard Ashby at linebacker had a really good spring and he's got a great head on his shoulders and a good feel at an early age for what we're trying to accomplish on the defensive side. Coach, thank you again so much for taking the time to join us and congratulations again on the historic night for the Edmonds brothers. We really appreciate it. You bet. Thank you.